fuel cell consists of two chambers, two aluminum electrodes, copper wire, an air pump in the back, water, sludge, and a salt bridge. The microbes break down organic matter in sludge chamber to produce electrons through oxidation. Then they give their electrons to oxygen molecules in exchange for energy. When these electrons flow from the ant to the cathode, they generate the current and voltage needed to make electricity. The IoT system consists of an Arduino Uno Wi-Fi and has a water sensor that measures water level, a DHT11 module that measures temperature and humidity, and an analog pin on the Arduino board to measure the voltage produced by the microbial fuel cell. The power for the IoT device comes from a solar power bank, which makes the system self-sustaining. Let me show you the machine learning code. First, we import any necessary libraries. We read the CSV file and we plot the voltage graph. Then we import the ARIMA libraries. We divide the data into training and testing, and we initialize the variables for machine learning. We create, train, forecast the next values, and then add that uh, forecast to a list of predictions. From there, we evaluate the RMSE, or known as uh, root mean square error. You can see here, the root mean square error is very low. So that indicates that the machine learning program is very accurate. Activity Meter is a system which utilizes multiple robots along with the mobile app to track the user's activity, taking action when the user has been excessively lazy. This is the main page of the app. It displays the user's number of steps, distance traveled, along with how long they have been inactive for. Once the inactivity timer reaches 10 minutes, the whole system will activate. Whoa! Hello everyone, we are the Shadow from Hong, Hong Kong, Kong, China! China. All this time, Dorothy and her companions have been walking through thick woods. Suddenly, it came from a forest, a terrible roar. Shadow puppetry is a kind of performing, performing art. It's also a kind of tool for therapy. From the control system, we use ESP32 as the processor of the robot. Secondly, we designed a mobile phone app to control the robot through Bluetooth to ESP32. And the next moment, a great line bounced into the road. The scarecrow had an enemy to face, and the great beast had opened his mouth. We are the League of Legions, and we've chosen to use computer vision and robotics for early identification of skin cancers and other skin abnormalities. Our goal is to discern if the lesion is good and you're probably okay, if it's bad and you have to see the dermatologist, or if it's okay but you could just keep a watch on it. 
our robot is a three-axis motion system with a camera and writing pens. We it also has a board that controls four different step recorders. We then send G code over USB to tell the robot where and how fast to move. I did analysis for A, asymmetry. So the symmetric round lesions tend to be good, while odd shaped ones are bad. To begin analysis, first I pick a lesion and I mask off the surrounding skin. Then I create several ranges of interest throughout the image to take the BGR values. And I analyze the spread of colors from all the ranges by their coefficients of variation. Even though Nick's lesion looks to be benign, we still need to gather a few pieces of metadata, such as family history and how long the lesion has been there. In Mexico, one of the most important health problems that affect thousands of Mexicans every year are the amputations, which can be caused by different causes, such as vascular diseases and intentional injuries, the effects of congenital or regional cancer. Due to this current situation in Mexico, an electronic arm and hand prosthesis printed in 3D is proposed to solve this problem, which offers the same capabilities of a sophisticated prosthesis at a low cost, allowing it to be accessible to all the population that needs a device like this. Hope hand was designed in 100% by Mexatec. I open my hand and the process is open. Oh, open. Let me go. Close my hand. Open my hand. Down my elbow.
I'd like to thank all the coaches, mentors, parents, students, and judges. Who are the winners today? Everyone who learned is a winner. If you have learned, you have won. So, to our friends all over the world, I wish you all the best and continued success. Keep learning and stay well.